Uh, right, welcome to Unearthing the Vinyl Season 3, Episode 11, joined once again by the esteemed leader, Matt. Uh, we're going to run through a bit of a stack of records. The release sheet isn't as big as it was last week, still pretty hefty though. Um, this one underneath this, you're going to know this, it's been everywhere over the past year or so, getting a much needed repress. Loads of other good stuff, we're going to get into it in a sec. You are now listening to the sounds of... Unearth! Oh yes, uh, Hamdi Skanker. Is it Skanker? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is going to be Skanker. Getting a repress on Duplock. Monster tune. This got absolutely rinsed everywhere last year. Continues to get rinsed now by like Skrillex and Fortet and Fred again and all that. Yeah, lot. everyone's playing it. Yeah, one of the. I think it's like the the last big sort of dubstep crossover tune. Those people outside of the scene are playing it. Um, this is a six track EP, you kind of feel bad for the other five artists on this because they're just getting obliterated by this tune because it's, yeah. it's all about this cut on this one. Uh, but there's loads of other good music on here. But yeah, it's hard to overlook this, so yeah, check this. Massive, massive, massive. Uh, yeah, big up. Uh, do plot, big up. Handy. As I said, there's loads of other good people on here. Lost, 11th Hour, who we featured last week. Tony and Sound Mesk. Um, yeah, it's a great EP. Um, but yeah, everyone's everyone's on that for the uh, Hamdi tune, and rightly so. Yeah, big, big, big release. Yeah. Um, and follow that up with another big, big, big release. This yeah. one's been out of press for a little while. Um, this is Language in the Lab EP on Few and Far Between, focusing on reissuing some very special old releases. If you don't know about this one, do yourself a favour and go and check it out. Originally released um, on Earth Recordings in 1992. Um, we did a Hold repress on, uh, of this. Record. That's not like part of the. That's no, not, not the, that one. No, Bristol okay. one. Okay, right. Um, however, um, we did a repress of this probably 2016, 17 when this originally came out. Um, we've been waiting to get this one back in, um, and rightly so. This is a really, really special release, and uh, yeah, very, very much sought after. Uh, and you'll see why if I drop the needle right here. It really is, and uh, one of the originals, it's uh, really well, really sought after, so do yourself a favour, while that's in stock, grab it, any discerning house or deep house buyer should have that in the collection, nice. and it's available now. Lovely. Uh, we were sitting in the meeting, that is top five, certainly top ten of the biggest selling records ever in the history of Unearthed, right? It certainly is. Yes. Have you got another one that might oh, be in that list? Oh, so we've actually got, the top two is uh, the Gypsy Woman. Yeah, uh, which is getting a repress that's out in a couple of weeks. Next week. Next week. Yeah, the, so uh, the 
well, 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 which one's that? That's the um, die and dismantle one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's either the first or the second biggest set of release. I think this is this has got to be number one. It's got to be. It's got to be. So yeah, the biggest ever release in unearthed history is DJ Boring Winona on E Beams uh, label run by Mr. Matthew Harwood here. Um, what more is to be said? This was sort of the pinnacle of that sort of low high house sound. We've definitely featured this. All went before. downhill after that. Didn't <laughs> yeah. um, we definitely featured this before. It keeps getting repressed. It's constantly in demand. The price, the resale price on Discogs remains high because it's mm. a great piece of music. We're just going to put it on again. If you're into house, if you're a house DJ, you need this in your life, really. Certainly do. Here it is. This one just continues to keep selling. It keeps mm. like getting picked up in all sorts of different places. I mean, obviously initially it was the whole Stranger Things connection with Winona Ryder. I think that was like 2016. At the moment, this seems to be a really popular like dreamy accompaniment to like wifty sort of skateboard videos. It's, it's quite interesting. Like TikTok, they seem to be picking it up. So yeah, back again. Grab it. Put it's so back. nice, man. I mean, you can see why it is used across so many different, you know, lots of people, like ages and, you know, demographics mm. keep picking this up. It's just works. It works so well across, the, you know, anything. It does. Yeah, it, it does. You could dance to it, you could chill to it, do yeah. whatever. Like, enjoy it the way Indeed. it's meant to be. And yeah, big it up because that helps keep the, light, the lights on here at Unearth. So big up to DJ Boring. <laughs> Keeping <laughs> us all employed, mate. Nice one. Right, what have we got next? Oh, we that. have got yeah. Man of the Moment, yeah. Mr. Settle Down, coming with his own SDWN number one. This is, is this going to be like a new label, or is it just sort of like a one off? Well, I think that at the moment this is the only thing penned for it, but mm. um, the reason being is that we've got two very big jungle tunes. One edit with a pretty famous vocalist, um, which is track called overgrown the carnival mix um make your own mind up as to who the original vocal is and then also we've got london jungle which is mm. like a real like you know ragga jungle special it's just um you know does exactly what it's supposed no to be no nonsense business i think no we said nonsense. that last time we were featured on this what video we're we gonna play are we going to play the vocal one uh, and let people figure out what it is yeah go on then I i'm, I'm yeah, easy yeah, both yeah, pretty okay. decent yeah they're pretty decent they're yeah. very decent yeah. very decent indeed and here is the a side overgrown carnival mix settle down sdwn 001 Settle Down, a couple yeah. of releases Rinsed on it. the aforementioned E-Beams that we just had the DJ Boring release on, uh, Western Law, Blue Skin Badger, plenty more to come, yeah. and this is first foray in self-releasing. Killing it at the moment, you can't move Settle Down, fair play, big up Greg, doing a really good job. Yeah, nice. Right. 
uh, talking about Western Law, new oh. one on their limited series. We're just linking this all together. Oh, mate, perfectly it's perfect. Today, aren't we? See, it's like it's the chemistry. It's back, we, mate. We We're vibing, back. mate. We yeah. are back. I mean, um, you've missed me. The prodigal son returns. Is, indeed. Uh, this is artificial red. Uh, sort of on that new wave of jungle producers. It's got mm. a bit out uh, on pre-order at the moment, or it's out pretty soon um, on Time Is Now. The white label series, really yeah. good. That's smashing it. This is a little two-track trial one. Yeah, the Law Limited series. This one lonely. Yeah. Yeah. Law so, Limited series. Yeah. Always fun lonely. Yeah. Uh, shapes and face in the fire mm. handily it says what speed you have to play it at which is good because we never really know we're going to play we always seem to get that wrong we should do an outtake show one day of us yeah, just getting we're records it at the wrong, wrong speed so we're going to play the A side Shapes this is Artificial Red on Law Limited nice jungle here Sorted, isn't it? Like it's been absolutely tearing so far. Well, sort yeah. of. I mean, we've had some nice house, but now we've had a couple of big jungle records in a row. Yeah, really nice. And yeah, that's ones for the uh, the turntable owners only. I'm afraid. Sorry about that. Turntable yeah. owners only. Good tunes right there. Yeah. Right. What else do we have? Uh, what else do we that have? Cursed trolley being whirled around in the warehouse. Yeah, it makes for a nice bit of reverb around the place. Yeah. Uh, what are we right. Do? Uh, I think we'll do this. So, Faux Bully Cassian's record label. Nice. Really um, good. Yeah. Amazing stuff. Yeah. And we have now got a uh, man that we had here on the sofa having a pretty long discussion about his musical past and history mm. mr steve roberts 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 roberts, roberts. Uh, roberts. Uh, we featured him not that long ago last week week before the the adam and steve new label from yeah him. yeah and private parts and steer edits mm. instead it's steve oh, he's, he's he's taken over place. he is he is <laughs> taking over um so what did matt and albert coin this as oh Something electro. Um, mm. Murky, electro. Murky, Murky electro. Murky electro, yeah. So, see if you agree. Coining a new term, new genre, new page. Mm. Coming soon on the Unearth website. Murky electro from Steve Roberts on Faux Poly. Electro. Yeah, pretty apt description actually. Yeah, I like works. it. It works. Bit of a that one, yeah. Really good label. So the Cassian Boys can net looks yeah. wicked. Lovely yeah. front sleeve. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like, so this really is Faux Poly 4, but it's the yeah. second vinyl of the two. Yeah, so number one was the first one, which was them, and then um, two and three have been Digi Singles, and yeah. then number four is Steve Roberts. Nice. Um, so yeah, uh, one of the Cassian Boys hailing from. 6.75 miles that way in that's, ve that's very accurate 6.75 yep well me and Jake have ridden through it on our bikes many times so we would nice. know um, but yeah so where I'm just down the road but yeah I think they're London based at the moment yeah they're um, smashing it doing really, yeah, really, well. They are really um, well you should check them out um, very 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 good DJs as well so you know on top of the music it's all taken over I was just trying to link us to something else we've done really well with the video so far yeah. it's been really good Worked excellently. Yeah. So. Oh, what, 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 what are you going to link? What, what are you going to link? Um, uh, uh, I don't know. Let's kind of keep it on a similar sort of tip. Um, what, you've got more murky electro? Never uh, heard of it before, and then it's back. Sort of murky, murky ish sort of stuff. A uh, new one on of Paradise. This Ooh, one's from. I love this label. Pugilist. Yes. Uh, Melbourne based producer, as we said this morning, sort of 
doesn't pigeonhole himself. He sort of jumps around the genres all over the place. Does some sort of like dubby techno. He's done a bit of jungle, mm -hmm. some sort of garagey bits on Trull. Uh, this. I mean, I don't know how to describe it. That's such a good, good thing to have when you come to a release. It's like, yeah. like you know, it defies categorization. But yeah, great label. Again, it's the same with the label. They sort of defy genre. They sort of hop they around all over yeah, the place. They're really. all over the place, but it still remains like uber high quality. So yeah. big up to Paul and Lauren. Yes, because definitely. Just killing it every time. Always excited to see a brand new Off Paradise release come yep. through. Uh, this is called Negative Space. Mm -hmm. uh, Circuit Breaker, Daggers, Misanthrop, and Microdose. Let's do Microdose, the B2. Often gets over that. Let's see what you think of this. That's okay. not murky electro, but it's kind of murky. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I really like it. I just, what is that? It's kind of techno, it's sort of dubstepy. It's kind of like a kind of one for vibe in there. Yeah, it's, uh, it's wicked. Yeah, really like that. As we're saying, yeah, always like to see an off paradise release come through. You so never know what you're going to get. Top quality music. Like it's like a box of chocolates. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, good release. Really good release. Uh, what do else do we have? Uh, okay, so interesting beats from one man to another. Um, somebody that's always super high quality when it comes to their productions, and quite often got the ability to span various genres. Mm. Um, I think this is back to it's kind of more minimal stuff, um, a la the exit kind of era. Yeah. Um, and this is Mr. Synchro on his own yeah. label. Uh, synchro music and this is a two tracker isn't it two or three two two tracker very simple straightforward minimal design and minimal sounding music but produced to the highest of quality so here you go check this one out see what you think of this one So murky, mm. quite a lot of murky, murky beats. Yeah, yeah. That's hashtag murky. <laughs> oh no, that's been done. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So meditative, almost. Yeah, kind of vibes there. Definitely um, on that sort of loxy samurai sort of axis. Yeah, fit across quite a few of those kind of samurai related labels, maybe mm. like UVB area, something like that. But yeah, really good. Like, yeah. So yeah, big up Synchro, smashed it. Really, really good release, that one. Yes. Uh, right up next uh, is IFS Digi. Uh, this is sort of like a series from the Infernal Sounds lot, uh, releasing on vinyl some of the best or biggest tracks they released digitally only yeah. previously. I think most requested stuff when people are like, look, I really want this on vinyl. So I've only put it out on digital. Do better. Four track vinyl here for artists. We're going to play the A1 Hypho. You featured him recently mm. with the Dingle, is it Dingle Bat EP on yeah. Dark DDD? That was really good. This is Hypho, Abstract Sonnets. That trolley. I'm going to smash it one of these days. It's got Rack J on vocals as well. Um, we'll and get it some sort of muffler or something. <laughs> so some silence. Cool. Think of this. Good dubstep, <clears throat> yeah. Setting. You can't buy bars and bars on credit. Who gets left when the bar gets rare? So that said it. Cut out the picture. Take it and leave it. Looking to be here on merit. Never been one for the bringings. Works what I'm bringing. Eyes wide open. Our time for blinking. You can't dive off if the shit's not sinking. Yo. So right now we're still on deck. 
And I'm calm, but it's a bad thing when I got my hands on the decks Calm, strolled up, they say hold up Mad when I roll up, yes, we load up Tell the decks, stroll up, if you don't know up Let's talk to me, it's fine in a sec I said hang on a sec, you're not used to rule like the Anglo-Saxon Look me I'm calculating, but I look at them news like that's a reaction And it's mad I so under the action, looks like they're just after a sanction Me, I just want to make music so units so don't have to react in beats Can get locally sourced, we're all learning, if I go wrong that's cool Cause I can get sober remorse, I met tunes that are already forced So you'll notice the pinpoint precision on the needle drop there from Tom being the avid Rack J fan that he is Knew exactly which 16 he wanted executing right here on the video <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but high quality and yeah, yeah rightly so. It's all on wax now. Shouldn't just be digital, mm. but the label have recognised that and they've rectified their mistake by yes. giving you the wax. No, I think one of these tracks was premiered on our on our on our YouTube. I can't remember which one it was. Sorry, but yeah, go and check that out. Brilliant Great information. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, sorry. Just go and check out our YouTube channel. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. We had an audit of it done recently by a company, and they said we're doing really well. So go and see, go and see if you agree. Our YouTube channel is killing it. If not, blame Jake. It's his fault. <laughs> he does the YouTube. He's yeah. the YouTubist. Uh, right. Okay. So uh, links to this. Uh, how uh, can this... we do that? We have featured Bristol-related artists before, and this is a Bristol-related label. Where's the Infernal Sounds? Where are you from? Hmm? Is that out of Bristol? Manchester. Manchester. Mm. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, okay. just crack on. All right. Music. Yeah. We're, we're, we're trying to. We're trying to. So this is Devil's Work. Idle Hands. Devil's Work. Uh, 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 oh, the devil uh, make uh, work. The devil makes work for, for idle, idle hands. hands. Yeah. Yeah. So that really works. Um, so this is uh, Human Resource. Human Resources. Human resources. Uh, 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 check your notes. Check your notes. Should have done this before. <sighs> Human Resources. Hmm. Not actually sure who that is. Um, surprise to us, but they are clearly, clearly well skilled when it comes to making music. They, he, she, the pair of them, singular, we don't know what or who has made these, but they have made them very, very well. Um, I'm gonna have to guess it's 45, it's one track on a side. Let's just give it a bash, mate. Let's see what it's like. Bristol bangers. I'm assuming that they're probably from Bristol, linked with Chris, Idle Hands. Mm. Um, hopefully back real soon with the record shop. Yeah. Um, so yeah, amazing. Uh, yeah, sort of break beaty techno there. Yes. Yeah, I like it. I dig it. Right, uh, going to finish off with a little bit of reggae. Uh, Seven inch forty five. Uh, Fruits Records. Love in Portofino. Uh, and the shadow of your smile. The cos is by Cosmic Shuffling, which is like um, like it the seems like the, one of their house bands. Band, yeah. yeah. Well, I brought saying this is more on a ska sort of tip, is it? I think it's like dub reggae and kind of moves into the ska okay. kind of vibe. I think there's two versions of it, and one of them's on the vinyl, and then there's a digital version as well. Right. Um, I'm guessing. Well, anyway, let's just give it a listen. This is Love in Portofino. It's on Fruits Records. It's by uh, Cosmic Shuffling. Let's see what you think. I found my love in Portofino Perché nei sogni credo ancor Lo strano gioco del destino A Portofino m'ha preso il cuore Nel dolce incanto del mattino Il mare t'ha portato a me So chiudo gli occhi a me vicino A Portofino rivedo te 
Ricordo no, no, no. Southern European vibe. Yeah, not quite what I was expecting. Definitely not a scar there. But, uh, no, there is, there is. We went through them this morning. Yeah. There is something in there, not on this record though, but this record's brilliant. Oh yeah, just really like it. Yeah, that's cool. sip something cold in the hot by some sort of river. Or what. Yeah. Well, this is Portofino's in Italy, so you have a nice apple spritz, I suppose. Yeah, well, I could be there right now. That'd be lush. Oh yeah. yeah. So, but instead, we're in a cold <laughs> warehouse. Yeah, enough, summer. But... Come on. <laughs> Bring it uh, on. Right. That vitamin D. That's it for this week. It is it. It is. It's very it's nice it. to have you back, mate. It's and wonderful not, to be back. Yeah, long, long may it continue. Uh, thank you once again for watching. Mm. Um, hope you've enjoyed the music and the chat. If you missed our chat with Mantra last week, you can check that out below. Jake's going to put some fancy link in there. Thank you for watching. Um, we will see you again this week. Toodle pip. Bye. <laughs> Toodle pip. <laughs> you are now listening to the sounds of. of Honor! 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 Honor!